Hello and welcome back to Nomoria, where the Kingdom of Terror Hand is in a very sad state currently. Cause just a moment ago we've had a work accident. Or was it attempted murder? We don't know, but well, I have watched the video when I was editing this and yeah, <laughs> it's embarrassing to say and sad to admit it, but <laughs> it was the emperor <laughs> who committed this murder. Or, well, I mean, murder is with bad intent, and I know the emperor uh, very well, and he doesn't have bad intentions, <laughs> yet that doesn't, well, you know, free him up from his responsibility for this death. The blood is on his hands, after all. Even though, um, these, well, inclines, they were acting a little bit weird, but there is more news to it related to those inclines and more, because today is also patch day. Yep, new patches here and boy oh boy is it full of good features, new stuff and, well, I must say I'm very excited for it because um, there is a lot of new well, features and things on the table here, and uh, well, the main one being that goblins now, well, you know, they vary their attacks a lot more. Where previously they just came on the map somewhere and then ran off to, well, I assume the Great Hall, and to, well, <laughs> I don't even know what they would do there if they reached it, because so far they never saw anything of the might and glory of our Great Hall. Look at that. Beautiful shape as well. <laughs> uh, actually, <laughs> this way it looks rather peculiar. Yeah, that's better. A T <laughs> rather than a set of balls. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, yeah, uh, I'm laughing, but this is serious stuff. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, we've had a terror council meet in between videos here. But um, let's go over the patch th things first, because they're hot from the press, and, well, the main one being is that goblins uh, and the goblin attacks now also come with goblin raiders. And those goblin raiders will, rather than try and go to the Great Hall and eliminate every th living thing they see, they will try and uh, steal items from us, rather than kill all our gnomes on site. So... Yeah, uh, you know, having said that, <laughs> these stockpiles over here, perhaps they're not in the best spot now that we know that goblin raiders are on the table. However, it's not just one new uh, goblin type uh, that has been added. Now, there's a whole new mechanic to the goblin raids because they'll, they, they now show up with raiders, but... Uh, raiders can steal items, and I think that the more kingdoms worth we have, the more value they want to steal. So, say for example, you're a startup, they'll run off with a clump of dirt. <laughs> I mean, why? I don't know. I can safely assume that wherever their kingdom is, they'll have dirt. <laughs> but the higher up it goes, the more valuable items they want, which will lead to the only logical conclusion that they want to go after, well, you know, our armor. Or our statues, you know, our art. Steal our culture, our history, <laughs> which we are happy to sell to the merchant. <laughs> and, uh, well, you know, that's one thing. I mean, they'll try and steal things. And um, how it's set up right now is that the raiders more or less control the raid of goblins. So if the raider uh, has stolen something, you know, has gained hold of an item, he'll try and leave. And the rest of the goblins will follow suit if they're not engaged in combat. So they won't just wander around on the map till they're like dying of thirst and then bugger off. No, they won't. No, they'll try and steal uh, stuff, escort their raiders, and um, then they'll leave once the mission's... Well, you know, accomplished, really. So, yeah, it's very interesting, and uh, I really love the addition. Now, on top of that, if a raider doesn't get anything, but he isn't killed, then next time, you know, he'll alert his own kingdom, and um, he'll tell them to bring out the big guns, <laughs> or rather, uh, to try it in a different way, because another new enemy that has been added is a goblin tunneler. And well, that one is, well, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I don't think I need to explain what a tunneler will do, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, and what the tunneler will do is it, it will just set up shop like on the outskirts of the map. And it will start digging a tunnel right into our kingdom. 
like in our walls now it won't destroy any terrain so what i assume is that it's just like some kind of workshop that pops up somewhere inside our kingdom and the goblins will be able to like uh, move through it it's not an tunnel in the sense of that the blocks are gone so yeah that's kind of cool uh we can destroy these tunnel heads uh, at least in the patch notes say so and uh yeah, you know, I think that's a pretty cool and interesting mechanic. Now, we are very lucky with the Trickler over here. Because the Raiders will be able to get in. And since all our stuff is inside, they'll still go inside. And once we move these stockpiles here... Well, I mean, the moment we see the Raiders die, they won't be able to steal anything. And even if they were able to steal anything... They can't get back out. It's a one-way thing. So yeah, this mechanic is working like a charm, even for these new additions. But my end, do I love these new additions? And I can't wait to see, you know, how they turn out. Now, another thing that has been done is uh, that, well, you know, <laughs> these thatch inclines have been fixed. At least. Well, that's what the patch notes say. Now, I haven't tested it out uh, yet, and I must say that I still see these ghost stairs here, which I don't even know what kind of material these stairs are supposed to be, but <laughs> I can't even look at them from the proper angle or anything. So, I don't think that these inclines are fixed, you know, but the patch notes say that the thatch inclines are fixed. Now, to me, that's too coincidental you know that's too well nicer timing to just be coincidental really so it's either like rob has watched the previous video and if you're watching this one my well, great game and keep at it i'm really loving it or a viewer has reported a bug in which case if that viewer is now watching i want to thank the viewer for reporting it <laughs> it got fixed so yeah we are still gonna build these inclines over here and um, yeah, pretty amazing, right? Speaking about good timing over here to get these uh, things fixed. We are, however, I mean, that's all nice and dandy, but this is the real deal. Now, as I've said, the terror meat has, g or uh, yeah, I think it was the, we, I decided, the terror meat has gathered and had a council. And um, yeah, it was the emperor. And though they all believe that there was no malign intent in his actions. He does need to be, well, you know, kind of like, uh, take responsibility for it, and, um, yeah. They've all unanimously decided to send him off to do some work. Yep. He's gonna have to go to, uh, well, let's see, where does he have to go to? I'm thinking a lumber camp. Yeah, do some hard labor over here, miles away. And, you know, come to, well, come to, well, reality with what he's done, you know, accept the consequences of it. I mean, I know he's the emperor, so, yeah, you know, it's kind of like, hmm, uh, he is like head of state here, but, yeah, it's not like a uh, dictatorship over here, and, you know, the uh, emperor is a sensible man, he... After all, he is only a man, or rather, a gnome, I should say. And uh, he has accepted this, so yeah. He's gonna go off uh, to well, you know, do some labor punishment for his deeds. So yeah, there it is. Now, there is, however, still <laughs> Makita's corpse here. Oh, Makita, why you? <laughs> I mean... Uh, Kuwa Kuwaini? Kuwomi? Oh crap, I, I really need to look up his name, really. <laughs> I mean, this is looking bad. <laughs> I don't even know the name of my rancher. Uh, Kenzei. I mean, Kenzei is only a new guy. I mean, <laughs> he's only been well, having eight days of training uh, from Makita. And already he's up to it on his own. And there's um, this is way too... Too much for him to handle so the yeah, next nomad we're gonna get is most definitely gonna be a rancher that's a given now however we also need to bury makita's corpse and hold a proper funeral i feel now i've set up this stockpile over here and for some reason it's not filling up i don't know why but perhaps this corpse 
I don't know really. Perhaps these corpses, you know, because I have this stockpile set up to accept corpses, but perhaps gnome corpses don't count. I don't know really. Uh, what I will do is I will enlarge the stockpile a bit. So that, say for example, there are more corpses that they want to drag in, they can just, uh, you know, grab all of them, including Makita's corpse. So, someone please. Oh, wait, yeah, it's turning green now. Oh, I know why that was. <laughs> that was because there was stuff lying over here. Herp derp. Ah, well. Anyway, that's great. I mean, now we at least have a place for Makita's corpse. Uh, I'll remove the stockpile over here because we are going to build a proper grave. Not just some uh, stockpile with the name of Makita on it. No, it's going to be a freaking proper grave. And uh, we'll start on that right now. Screw the roof and whatever else we're doing. This is the most important thing. So, there. Now, uh, we are going to have the inside is going to be wood. I mean, it, it, it has to be like some kind of coffin, really, you know, so... We are gonna bury it, and I do. Ha I've been thinking about it, and I do have a design for this. So I'm not just doing something here. No, this is all, you know, thought of, and uh, there's a plan behind this. And it's also like how I wanna make future graves. Well, oh man, <laughs> future. I don't wanna have any future graves. It's bad and sad enough as it is already. But if it were to happen that we need uh, more graves, then this will be the way in how we're gonna construct them, but I mean, I pray to God that we won't need future graves, but anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's get this built now uh, quickly so that we can have our gnomes hold a proper funeral. So uh, yeah, let's uh, speed up time a bit. Ooh, a goblin has been spotted. Oh wait, that's the one goblin who didn't make it through the trickler at the first wave. He must have wandered off in the bridge and seen the bait and now he went for it. Oh, that's cool, though this is still one from like pre-patch, so... I don't... well, I think it will still have like its original behavior over here and... Uh, well, <laughs> we'll murder it <laughs> mercilessly anyway, so... Right, um, yeah, back to finishing uh, the grave, really, and... Oh, man, this is a proper grave. Makita is in it, and, yeah. Now, I haven't really decided on these two tiles yet. I mean, I was thinking about giving them a different color, but... Yeah, perhaps I should, really. Yeah, all right, all right. Um, yeah, we'll finish it off right now. Right, well, there it is, Makita's grave, right here, and proper in there as well. Right, I think it's time that we call all our gnomes here together and have a funeral moment here. For what is our first civilian casualty? And, well, you know, I think as well as for processing, you know, the whole mourning process, the emperor, the murderer, well, not... Oh man, it feels so wrong to say it, but if you look at it in the end of the day, he did do it. He did commit the murder, even though it was, wasn't intentional. Uh, I think he should be here too. So let's take a look at how we're gonna get that arranged, because yeah, direct control is a bit lacking here. Now, I think, yeah, we just, all that we really need to do is have the... Uh, I think it's like these. Are uh, you not? Yeah, you're also the Syrupy Idlers. You're also a hand of terror. So we need like every squad except the Stone Wanderers, the Brood Shanks, and the Mangy Beast of Crab to be present here. So. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should have counted them. <laughs> yeah, herpederb. Alright, that's three, four, five. Right, five. We need five guard areas here, just for now. And, um... 
Yeah, we'll have them have a proper funeral here. So, this one will be for the stolen ticks, yes. This one over here will be for the high hills, yes. This one over here for uh, the <laughs> the spiky foggers, <laughs> right? <laughs> Apparently, the spiky foggers, and another one for the acted buckles. I guess so. And we'll have another one for the syrupy idols. And you know what? The mangy beasts of crap, right now they're only training, so that's no excuse to not attend a funeral of one of our, you know, our, well, pillars of society, really. I mean, Makita was one of our first gnomes that we have. Maybe even a founding gnome. To be honest, I don't quite remember after 90 videos, but Makita could have well been a founding gnome, and training is no excuse to not attend a funeral. So, I'll let them all gather over here. You know, drop down the work they were doing and gather around here. Yeah. Wow, so many gnomes. Yeah, there's even more coming over there. I don't know, uh, is it just me or is one very important person in all this missing? Or is that just me? I mean, I didn't send... Oh, no, 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 you're on your way. You better be murderer. <laughs> no, no, it's not right. It's not, it, it doesn't feel right. I mean, if I, I didn't knew about the bug, you know, so. It did got fixed, though. But. Wait, hold on a second. What, what am I doing that is so much more important than attending this funeral? Oh, uh, I think he, I had like a job that I needed. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I know why this is. <laughs> I am not in a squad. <laughs> oh man, yeah, but I gotta be there. So we'll make like, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put me uh, in the, where is it? Crap, I need, yeah, well, I think the Syrupy Idlers. Right, Emperor Damage, you're also gonna be in here. Yes. There's no excuse for you to not attend the funeral of the one you killed. Get in here now! I can't start a funeral without me. Where is me? I don't know what I'm doing right now. I have dropped all my gear. Where am I? I mean, I don't get this at all. On duty. I don't know. Oh, I'm grabbing a torch. Wow, I even forgot that I had a beard. <laughs> How can I forget? But yeah, apparently I have a beard. <laughs> okay. It's been so long since I dropped my crown. But yeah, this is an occasion where you take off your crown off for. Right, now that I'm present. I mean, Makita. A good soul. A brave lad. A dutiful rancher who did his work to the best of his abilities. He always had a listening ear. He, from time to time, played pranks. He was a nice fellow. He didn't deserve this. He wasn't even working on his own jobs. He was helping out. And then, the roof fell away from under him. Whether it was intentionally or not, it doesn't matter in the end. Because Makita is now with Dr. Pokemon and his son and the other brave gnomes who have fallen. He is now in gnome heaven in a better place. Though I can't imagine of any place better than Terror Hand. But I didn't say that, no. Makita, you will be remembered. And um, yeah, life goes on, as they say. And uh, well, I hope that our gnomes you know, could say goodbye, drop their flowers and all that, and um, time to move on. So, gnomes, it is time to continue your work right now, and uh, yeah. It was a good funeral, and look at all of them go, really. Yeah, they had their moment. I think uh, this is handled pretty nicely. And as well, you know, for f the future, we can just stick more graves over here. I'm going to leave this area free, and uh, you know, for... Uh, well, we can always cut back a bit of the groves or anything, but yeah. This is now the final resting place. This tomb is sealed. 
we're never gonna open it again. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's get the emperor back <laughs> in his royal suit. I mean, without a crown, we might even mistake him for just a work gnome. <laughs> Can't have that now, can we? So yeah, you're definitely not going to be in here. Wait, where's the vacant position there? Okay then, now, back to what we were doing and what got Makita killed in the end. Um, that was building this roof. Now, these should have been fixed now, these inclines. And even right now, I mean, we can just deconstruct these because so far, you know, we have a safety ledge <laughs> built below here. This one also has a safety ledge, though I'm not gonna deconstruct it just yet. Now, what I assume is that when... The patch reads as like these inclines have been fixed because they were doing weird behavior. Let's see literal uh, in a note of it. So what I'm guessing is that it put them in the game in a state that wasn't supposed to be there or something. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I'm thinking that once we build them anew, they should behave like it was intended. So, yeah, well, we're gonna find that out, but uh, first, uh, let's free up Ronald Renier, who is now also trapped over here. <laughs> yeah, we're not making a good show uh, uh, with this. Right, when this piece is placed, we can then safely deconstruct this. In fact, I think that that will happen, oh crap, long before this deconstruction gets finished. But yeah, we now have a safety board, so even if it does go... All right, and then yeah, nobody's lost. <laughs> that will just drop down one height level. We should be able to handle that, All right? Now we have also been waiting for mans, but <laughs> if I'm honest, I mean I don't want mans. I want to see how the trickler perf performs with mans uh, around here. But I also want the goblin attack. I mean I want to see those raiders, man, and uh, check them out and all that. But yeah. Anyway, now, time to check out if this new incline is working how it should be. Wait, hold on a second. We need, like, a ramp. And... I can't build it from there. Those are stairs, so it's not in the terrain, perhaps here? An incline? No, it must have moved. Wait, hold on a second. Previously, when I bid these things, I did that from this menu, the ramp up menu. Now it's not there. I wonder, did he just remove it? Or... Well, I guess so, but I don't think he removed it from the game, so... Let's just do it this way. Incline up. Oh, it's not even called a ramp anymore. Ah, look at that, yeah, see? This is the new... Ah, right. Yeah, I see what he did here. Right, so we're going to test this one incline and see how it uh, how it behaves. Yeah, it is on the right level. Sometimes you get that, you know, that you place, like, floors and all that. You can just place those on the wrong Z level. It's kind of hard to find out, but... Now, I am curious. I mean, we'll know it instantly if it's bugged or not. Because <laughs> if there's, like, ghost stairs appearing above it, then we know <laughs> it's not working. Also, if it's not moving with the view, you know, if it's like angling itself very odd, I also know it's not gonna be there. But this is looking promising. Nice! It's fixed! Oh man. <laughs> Robobob, you are amazing. Now, let's, uh, yeah, let, let's get the roof on this place <laughs> and not blow it off. <laughs> uh, like the proverb goes. But, um, yeah. It's time to finish the royal embassy. A costly royal embassy. Because of yeah. Also, somebody please clean uh, clean up these blocks over here. I mean, it's a grave for goodness' sake. Flowers, okay, but marble slabs, no, <laughs> just no. So uh, yeah, there. Good, good, good. Now we'll be building this till something more eventful happens, like enemies. So um, yeah, let's uh, speed time up a bit.
Hmm. I think we have some graffiti defiant wheat here. Oh, uh, I don't really know what's up with this, but uh, I know uh, it's yeah, it's it's like on top of the incline tile, really. So, <laughs> but it looks kind of odd. Uh, anyway, moving on. Ooh, well, <laughs> not for that long, it seems, because our cook Rick Vainbergen has uh, made a legendary loaf of wheat bread, so let's check out how that one's named. It should be right here in the kitchen. No? It's not. Oh wait, <laughs> there's more over here. Swamp Zeal. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> I don't know, but... Swamp zeal <laughs> as like the name of a legendary loaf of wheat bread i don't know i think i'd skip this one really <laughs> if uh, it was up to me but congrats to you nonetheless now what are your cooking skills now that you're making legendary stuff and old oh <laughs> for a moment i thought this was your cooking skill but it is not that high it's not bad i mean 21 is pretty decent but not like well 72 <laughs> like right above it Anyway, congrats to you, and you're a farmer even. You're not even a proper cook, and already you're making legendary stuff. Great, great, great. Right, wow. <laughs> we have floating gnomes even. Yeah, oh man. Uh, anyway, gonna continue on with the roof here. Oh my goodness. I don't know what it is, but it seems that everybody's making legendary stuff at the moment. Kruza, mate, you've made a legendary wine now. And it's gone already? Or. Oh, wait, perhaps that wasn't Kruza. Perhaps it's over here. Uh, let's see, let's see. The Ox Tarnisher. I don't know, isn't Tarnish? I don't know, but isn't Tarnish a thing you use to get paint off the walls? <laughs> I don't know, but then it must be pretty hefty stuff, huh? 80% of alcohol, no. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that would burn at least your, cl your throat clean. Yeah, congrats to you, Cruz, huh? Right now, we're making legendary stuff. Let those raiders come. I mean, they'll have so much, they won't even know what to choose from anymore. I mean, legendary food, man. Imagine if you'd grab the swamp zeal and the ox tarnisher. You'd be just eating the stuff of legends. Oh wow, amazing. Right, hopefully uh, we'll make more of this, but if not, let's try and finish this. Now this is what we've been waiting for. Mans and oh. Aha, uh -huh. I see what has happened here. There is a honey badger corpse here and all the mans are scattered around. That's not good. Wow, and it's not just any mans, it's like a jillion out of them there. Right, and this calls for action, really, because I need these mans gone off the land, of course. I mean, if goblins show up and they'll get murdered out here, we'll have a crap load of, well, <laughs> of loot to haul inside. So, the only option I see that we have over here is to disable the trickler for now, you know, put it always on. And um, send out our military to mop up all those mans, because, yeah, they need to be gone. Also, because we still got some punishments to execute, so to say. So, and no, don't think I have forgotten about that. I have not. 
it's just that you know right now we still got some important stuff to do so <laughs> that's why I'm keeping the Emperor here you know workforce and all that Wait, hold on a second. Is this man... Is it... It's actually making a beeline for it. Oh, that's interesting. Right, now... Yeah, that man was a goner, like... Instantly. Right, now there are multiple mans out here. So we are gonna send out... Uh, the... We're not gonna send out everybody. But we are gonna send out the Stern Wanderers... To mop up all these mans here. I mean, we just need them gone, really. And, uh, well, I have every bit of faith in the Stone Wanderers that I'm just gonna continue on building while they mop up uh, one mant. I mean, one mant is like when I... Oh. Thanks, game. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's let's just finish off this uh, build order here, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, th th that was looking a little bit ugly, uh, I have to admit. Let's see. I think, yeah, right over there. Look, that looks no. I don't know really what what is the issue, but this is what I wanted to do. Good, good, good. So let's see how we deal with this one solitary man. <laughs> yeah, as I figured. Right, let's mop up the rest. It's not like we need their corpses anyway. If I'm right, yeah, they'll spot the two mans and the third one. Are that Oh no, what are you doing? No! <laughs> Cyber, are you insane? <laughs> there are mans about. What? Oh, I don't get it. Are you grabbing something that needs grabbing? Idle. You're idling. Then why? Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Cyber, cyber, cyber. I don't know what you were thinking, but we need the Stone Wanderers out here right now. No, Cyber! Stone Wanderers, get your ass! Yeah, come on, in hot pursuit here now. Oh man, this is, these are tense moments. Luckily, Cyber is a little bit faster than the man. Yeah, go and kill him. Now, Cyber, are you hurt, mate? Are you hurt or not? That's the big question. There you are. I hope you're all right. Bleeding from her left hand. That's all right. We can deal with that. I think what's actually gonna happen is that you're gonna go right here into the hospital No, you're not I don't know. Oh, you're probably gonna grab a bandage from a place. That's like far away <laughs> Because it happened like far away Oh man, that oh man cyber. Why were you going outside? What's here for you to grab? That could possibly need hauling. Because I'm assuming that's what, what happened. When Cyber did a hauling job. Yeah, and now you're doing it too. What's lying out there that we could want? A torch. Yeah, but that's the one that Cyber dropped. I mean, that, that one doesn't count really. Well, it does, but... I know why that's there. I want to know, like, what's the cause why Cyber went outside. Not to... Oh, uh, I know what it might be. Could it be... No, no, I removed the stockpile. So we don't have a corpse stockpile active at the moment. I honestly don't get it. I mean, I have no clue why Cyber went on what I'd consider pretty much a suicide run right there. I have no clue why that happened. Anyway, so far, we're doing quite well in mopping up all these single men. <laughs> I mean, the Stern Wanderers are kind of like a death squad for them. Really? So... Yeah, good, good. I approve. Now then, on to the rest of them. Let's murder them all off. There are quite a lot of them as well. Yeah. No, well, alright. We also have a lot of food stock. <laughs> so that those two might uh, coincide. Maybe Cyber went off to grab this corpse, though. You know, the honey badger corpse. That could be. Yeah, that, that seems actually the most plausible solution. Because for some odd reason, and right now we are going to keep it that way, the metal worker profession actually has butchery as well in there to help out. And, well, I must admit that um, I could have changed that a while back. <laughs> but now that Makita has passed away, slipped between our fingers. Yeah, we're definitely gonna keep it that way. 
Now, are there more mans out there? That's the big question, really. I don't see them over there. And I don't see any over here. Let's, let's zoom out, see how that does. They're all dead mans that I see. Right, Cyber, are you? Yeah, see, there you are again. You're gonna butch. Yeah, I figured this much. If I think that if these mans hadn't run into this honey badger, then we would have seen the trickler into action like where it was designed for. And that is a massive attack of mans. Wait, hold on a second. Why do I not? Oh, I might have set these at the wrong level. Coming to think of it, yeah, I have actually. Great, herp and herp, not going smooth so far. All right, well, we got that little situation under control. Now, the one thing that I must not forget to do is to put the trickler back onto active once cyber is inside. Right. Because what I don't want to have happen is, of course, is a massive wave of goblins coming in and uh, just crushing our army utterly. Nah, that probably won't happen, but still, you know, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, that should get pulled soon. And then the trickler is live, and uh, maybe we can see like a nice goblin raid, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, I'd love that. Who are you? The oh, Swomi, the brave. Oh, of course, yeah, maybe I should also put back the mangy beast of crap here for training. I mean, they need to hone their skills. Oh, man. Uh, that was a close call, man. Tensions are... That was tense, really. I mean, that was just a close... Oh, wait, hold on a second. I'm building these stairs here, but I don't really need to because they can walk down the inclines and they can also build from the inclines. Well, that actually seems to be the case, so... <laughs> okay, <laughs> good to know. Let's remove all this unnecessary dirt scaffolding then, shall we? Hmm... I'm looking at this and we only have 500 straw, <laughs> but we still got like... Well, two days of winter ahead. And when we started this, we had like 1600 straw. <laughs> We've only built half a roof. I think our animals are e going through quite a lot of it, so maybe we should stop the construction of the roof for now till it's not winter anymore. Then again, worst that could happen is that our animals leave, but they can't because I can keep the trickler <laughs> closed. Oh, that's cruel. That's no, that, 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 that will have starving animals. I can't have that. So, yeah, we'll do the roof at a later time. Uh, for now, we'll do the other things. Now, that I still need done here on the Royal Embassy. Ooh, a merchant has arrived from the Profane Kingdom. Interesting, merchant. Welcome, welcome. Um, I don't know if the lands are safe, though. They do seem to be. Yeah, we haven't seen any goblins since. I don't know why that is, really, but... Yeah, you went through the trickler, all right. Um, right. Profane Kingdom, wasn't you the... Yeah, lumber camp. You're actually... Oh, maybe you're coming to take the Emperor. Yeah, since we're not really building big stuff now, I think, yeah, right now is the time to fulfill the punishment of the Emperor. And um, let's, uh, let's send him off, right? So, what we'll do... We will pull this couple, 
copy leave, eh? So that the trickler is alive, and then we'll send off the emperor. I mean, what, you know, what needs to be done has to be done. Really. And, um, yeah, there's no postponing it, really. I did keeping him here to speed up the roof construction, but since we now need to wait for spring, otherwise we might drain through this a little bit too fast. You know, I straw supply, we, uh, we will send him off. So, Emperor, let's see here. You will be... Oh, no, <laughs> the Profane Kingdom is not uh, the one where we're going to. No, that's actually the domestic paper. One that's far away. Four days and one hour of travel, no less. I don't want to host an ambassador. I want to go there myself. Uh, how did I do that exactly? I thought... Oh, we do need to host an ambassador. Alright, well, in that case, <laughs> you're gonna work a little bit closer. You're gonna go to the Profane Kingdom. You're not gonna take anything. Alright, you know what? You are gonna take something. You're gonna take... Uh, one dirt clump. Yeah, I know. <laughs> not really all that much, but... It's more like just to get him off that. You're gonna drag bag one log of pine. Also as a punishment. You know what? We'll actually... Yeah, we'll have you drag a log as well. You know what? Take a pine log and bring one back. I think that's a f this is a fair deal. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Take two pine logs and bring back one. I don't know really how that uh, holds out, but fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, there it is. Now, Emperor Damage. Yes, your punishment for your involvement in the death of Makita. You'll be sent out to labor there. I know it's not much, <laughs> but still. Uh, you know, it's more a symbolic thing, and uh, it's important that it needs to get done. We need to show our gnomes that we're civilized, and that you can't get away with murder. Or even death by... Uh, well, you know, uh, guilt or whatever it's called. Wait, hold on a second. Where, wasn't I supposed to go off to a trading mission? Am I seeing something wrong here? Now I'm grabbing food to eat. Perhaps I was hungry, but I should go off to... No. Right, something went horribly wrong here. Profane Kingdom. Send merchant. Yeah, it's vacant, and that's why. Alright, we'll do it this again. Emperor damage the builder. Okay. So, is it working right now? Yeah, right now it should work. So if I unpause, there I go. Right, let's follow this. Let's see that I don't get killed uh, out on the way. You know, you, you'll, see, you, you'll, you'll see that now that I'm going off, <laughs> a massive attack of mans comes by. <laughs> You know, the one thing that I wanted all along to test out the trickler. You'll see that they'll all barge in here. Oh, a merchant has arrived. I don't know, I don't think the merchants arrive only when it's safe, so that doesn't really tell me anything. But like I was to say, you know, you'll see that right now when we're sending off the head of state, you know, for punishment, <laughs> that a massive group of mans appears. Yeah, that would be bad. It seems, though, that you need to go off to what's over here. That's alright. I mean, that's... Yeah, alright. And I'm off. Good. Well, punishment has been exacted, you know? It is... Well, not exacted, really. I mean, <laughs> I still need to return. But now that I'm off, uh, let's pull this lever again. Put the trickler back on to sharp status and um, let's trade. Let's see what the merchant from Sawbrunch brought to us this time. Lots of iron. That means lots of steel and I like it. Uh, you know what? We'll also grab the silver and the malachite. Yes. We will grab this. You know what? Let's just grab all the ore. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot, I know, but <laughs> why not? Well, we have the chance. We have plenty of stuff to trade in with as well. We haven't really traded any of our statuettes for quite a long time because each time I was flogging off excessive amounts of items. But 
Right now, I feel like this is the right moment. I also want the granite, because I can foresee us using that a lot. For the rest, it seems all good. I don't think he has much more that I want. So, um, let's uh, match up a deal for him, right? Right, and here we are. You know what? You are gonna get a monitor lizard skull. And again, <laughs> it is a deal that <laughs> we did not have to trade any of our statuettes for. <laughs> I mean, uh, all I see here is food stuff and except just excess amounts of stocks of anything. To be honest, we're pro just producing way too much stuff for what we really use. So, yeah, that's not good. Maybe, perhaps in the future, I should look into that and uh, redistribute our priorities. But for now, I'm satisfied. Um, with this skull, we'll seal the deal in good terror hand tradition, I'd say. And, uh, yeah, please don't crash. It's gonna be a major hiccup, but well, that should clear. Yeah, wow, <laughs> you saw that disappear there. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, that should clear a lot of the stocks over here. So, good stuff, good stuff. Now, we can't really bid the roof over here. And, um, well, I don't want to start just building other stuff at random till it's finished. So, you know what? I think right now is a good moment to, well, commemorate what we have achieved. Yeah, Makita's corpse has decayed. And yeah, it really is his final resting place. I mean, we've buried him, you know? This is it. We have made good progress over here. We still haven't seen the trickler perform for what I designed it. A massive mant attack. We also haven't seen the new goblin enemies. In fact, it's actually been quiet for quite a few nights. So maybe, I don't know, maybe they're scared of the trickler. Maybe it has already made a name for itself. Or perhaps not. Um, yeah, by the way, saying that, I... Now remember that the goblin attacks are also depending on the distance of their kingdom to our kingdom. So maybe that explains a lot, but anyway. Yeah, we've done a lot today. Next time we will finish the roof and perhaps more. But there's only one way to find out. And that is to join me next time when we play more Nomoria.